Hello everyone, my name is Jose Livia Aguirre. I work for Tipco and welcome again with one more quick tip video for Dr. Spotfire series. This, in this quick video, we're gonna talk about sidebars, the JavaScript sidebar for, for Tipco Spotfire. In the last video, we talked about the mask head for Tipco Spotfire, the JavaScript mask head. So in this, this is kind of similar, but now we're gonna focus on the sidebar. A sidebar is a vertical place that can be on the side of a page to put uh, controls or information relevant for the page. In Spotfire, we often see navigation controls, filter panels. So this is just a way to easy create this sidebar and save some real estate with three different sidebars that we have. So the JavaScript sidebar, as we said, uh, it's similar to the mask head where you have different components and these uh, elements are wrapped in a div tag with a specific ID. And then the engine is going to translate those elements and going to put it in a nice uh, sidebar. Uh, this is the flat version. Then we have a pop-up version. Let me show you how this looks like. And here I have the code, very simple, very basic. And what's happening is that this JavaScript is rendering whatever is inside this sidebar navigation, among with the sidebar logo and the sidebar element that controls the font, the size, and the, and the colors. So let's take a look at, for example, if I want black, uh, uh, or if I want the text color yellow, then we can change that easily. Maybe the font size is too big. I want to make it uh, 15, save it, and everything changed accordingly. So let's go back uh, the way I was. Okay, and <clears throat> now we're going to change the theme. Now this is the pop-up theme, and this is how it works. You open, you close, you have the elements, and uh, all, all you have to do is change the, the theme, and uh, you can also close it. Uh, this is a slide one. You just navigate like that. It expands and then you have more options. But let's walk through them one by one. The flat sidebar is uh, tended for simple navigation. It has optional icons for link navigation. You can also group Spotify controls and does not overlay with other visualization. This means that if I resize the page, it's going to keep controlling, it's not going to flap or overlay the other visualizations. So this might be a good thing or not. Uh, but this is what it is intended for. So let's go ahead and, and put some icons. Let me show you how that works. What I did just add in the text area, some icons, like let's look at this. And by default, it uses font awesome icons. So as long as you put the name of the font right here, then you will see these um, icons. You have to have an internet connection because the engine goes to the uh, content development network where the, all the fonts reside. But that's how it works when you want to add icons. So this navigation doesn't support grouping. We cannot group different pages. So it's a simple navigation, but it, it, it can hold, it can group controls. It can group filters or property controls or whatever elements you have here on my text area. Any of these uh, con uh, Spotfire controls, it can be held here and you can see here the elements. And all you have to do is wrap them with this uh, tag element. So we have the sidebar controls and you can uh, group each one with uh, every other so uh, every other tag element. So the, the, the odd elements will contain the name of the grouping and the even elements will contain the spot fire controls. So for example, action controls, I have that, filters, and let's go now with just the controls. Of course, I can use it just as a control plate holder and forget about the navigation. So I can, I can have that sidebar for that purpose. Now let's look at the sidebar slim. It's exactly the same code that we have here, but now uh, I can minimize the, the sidebar or I can have it sticky so where it will grow. Um, and then you can hover the items and you can see them uh, like that. So this is the same, the same uh, uh, HTML content. You can see here that I have my pages wrap with the sidebar navigation ID of my controls. I can place here just a regular page navigation. Maybe I go to a different page. It has to be a link and I go to my other page, let's say flat page. And then I click add and just notice that because if it's a link, I have to replace the entire link with a control that supports that. Any control of type link will work uh, just fine. One of the nice thing about the slim sidebar is that I can group the navigation. So the way to group the navigation on a sidebar navigation component is to put a, a link or, or a, a link with the name of the grouping, and then you have their pages. The reason I have three asterisks is because other side panels will um, 
use this as the active element. So if I am in that page or I selected that, it's going to be highlighted. That's the case for the flat style. Let me just do some real quick demo for you. If I click uh, that and change the flat, the navigation that is going to be selected. And, and because this one is, doesn't overlay, I have to resize. But here I have that one. So if I go to my HTML and I change this, and I want now page four to be the one that it's selected, Notice that it's not grouping because it doesn't support grouping this uh, this engine. But when I do that, it make it, it can make it, you know what page you are in, and that's the purpose for that. So let me go back with the slim theme that we're using that is grouping nicely my icons. Now I have all my icons here. So let's uh, do let's see another example. Here I have my uh, slim sidebar, and this is a use case because sometimes you why you might want to have tooltips or thumbnails of the page that you are going to uh, to visit. So for example, I want to look at different pages. I just hover and then I can see the description of the page. So it's a nice way to have organized your, your pages. Of course, you can uh, have other elements inside these uh, groupings, but that's just a simple use case for that. And finally, we have the pop-up style and the pop-up style it uh, overlays the visualization. You can group your navigation items and your spot fire controls as well. Unlike other visualization, this one doesn't behave like an accordion, meaning that when I uh, click one filter, the, the other one automatically uh, collapses or expands, but you can tweak the code. Uh, the nice thing about this one is that you can keep them open, have them closed, or you can close the entire visualization because when you are using a navigation panel, it might block you from to seeing what's going on. So that's why you can just hide it. And then now you can see the panel that you want to use. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all other upcoming videos. I'm going to put the link down here so you can see how these uh, JavaScript masters for Tipco Spotify works. And uh, see you next time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.